Hello guys and welcome to today's episode. In this video we will solve the problem stones on the table. This video will be special because we will use PyCharm um, because I am Eric Fletcher asked of me for using PyTest, uh, sorry PyCharm and showing um, how to get all the things with PyTest and so on working. So let's start with using PyCharm. We'll start really at the beginning so we will uh, make a new project. Um, we have this project here. I want to go in this folder. So we first choose the location where we want to have our file stored. Um, then the question is if we want to use a new virtual environment. Um, yes, we want to use it. So there we can install PyTest and we don't install PyTest uh, generally on our system. So that's all. Um, yes, we can create a main Py uh, welcome script there too. And we just create it. We'll use in this window. So this lasts a few seconds. Maybe I will make a small cut in here. So now it's loaded. We see here that we have a virtual environment folder and our main Py. We will use the main Py to make our code in it. But first of all, we go to our terminal here. And we see that we're in this folder and that the virtual environment is started. Um, we will use PyTest or we want to use PyTest in this video. And for the problem, so we need to install PyTest first. Because if I just start it here, then we see, okay, PyTest is not available because it's not installed. So we use pip install PyTest first. And PyTest is installed. Sorry, my antivirus program is always calling me when scripts are called. And now we see that the help is opening when using PyTest H. So PyTest is working here. Then we can go to our normal startup because that's all um, we can now just go on for normal programming. I will start reading the problem to you. Stones on a the table. There are n stones on the table in a row. Each of them can be red, green or blue. Count the minimum number of stones to take from the table so that any two neighboring stones had different colors. Stones in a row are considered neighboring if there are no other stones between them. Input. The first line contains integer n with n between 1 and 50, the number of stones on a table. The next line contains string s, which represents the colors of the stones. We we'll consider the stones in a row numbered from 1 to n from left to right. Then the ith character s equals r if the ith stone is red, g if it's green and b if it's blue. Output. Print a single integer, the answer to the problem. That's the problem. Let's first just go to an example and see what we need to do in here. So let's go in the first one. We have this input here. We know that there are three stones. So n is three. And these three stones are red, red and green. We don't want to have two same colors besides each other. So we know that we have to reduce or take one stone away. And this is uh, the stone, so one of the red ones. And then we have red and green. So that means we have to take one stone away to don't have any two neighboring stones that have uh, the same color. Same in here with the second example. There we have five red stones besides each other. That means we have to take four of them away. So the output is four. 
And here we have blue, red, blue, and green. So they all have different colors. That means we have to don't, we don't have to do anything. Then I would say, let's start with writing our test cases. First of all, we need our uh, function corpus that we will use later on. We have a function and we give this function, first of all, n, the number of the stones, and s, or let's just call it stones, the string that defines which color the stones have. And now we just first return false. I see it's maybe a little bit small, so I uh, will just zoom in. Let's start with writing our test functions. There we invoke the function with 3 as an integer and rrg as the stones or the colors of the stones. And we assert that our result is equal to 1. We will do this with the other functions too. So our functions are written. We see here that there are a few pep8 information. Um, this is a coding guideline for Python. So Python wants that here are, uh, that there are um, two lines, uh, two blank lines. These are our test functions. Let's just run PyTest one time for this file. And we see that PyTest is working. Um, we have two failed test examples and one passed example. Why is that? Because we have the first one where we assert that result is equal to one, the result is false, and false is not equal to one. And we have the second test example, result there is false, and we expect or we assert that it's false. And four is not equal, uh, not equal to false. The last example, there it's special. Um, there we assert that the result is zero and we get false is equal to zero and this is true. So the last test example is passed. Now let's go for implementing the algorithm for the solution. And um, what do we need to do in here? We have a string that shows us the color of the stones and we need to check that there are no two strings with the same color besides each other. That means we will go and loop over the string and check this. Therefore we just first take a counter and initialize it with zero. Now we go through the loop and start with 1, go up to n and check if stones of i is equal to stones of i minus 1. If yes, then the counter is counter plus 1. So what are we doing here? We iterate over the string character by character and check if the character is the same than the character before. This is why we start in the range function not with zero because zero has no stone before. We start with one and go up to n. Now we need to return counter and that should be it. Just save the file and run the PyTest once again. And we see that all three tests have passed. Let's submit our solution. 
we have to adapt a few things because we need to read in our input and we need to print our counter. That means, first of all, we need to read in an integer. Um, it's n and we take the int function to cast our input as an integer and we need to get the stems as a string. So we read the first line and the second line. Um, the first line we just um, transform it to an integer. We cast it to an integer. Now we need to print out our counter and that's it. Let's submit our solution and we see that our solution was accepted. Let's go once again back to the code. I think the interesting part in here is using PyTest once again. Um, maybe the special part with using PyCharm and the command line or the terminal in uh, PyCharm. Um, and that we started our range function with uh, one so that we go from the second stone here and just check it with the first stone and so on. That's it for today. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any comments, any questions, let's just let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you give it a like and to not miss any videos of me, just subscribe to my channel. Thank you and goodbye.